Hello. So I've now just started to wonder how Skudduggery fights wearing his hat. This is my dad's hat. I just randomly found it. And his suit. I obviously don't have a suit, but I do have a tie. Clip on, clip on tie, but that will just do. So it's the same purpose. And purpose. But yeah, it doesn't look very smart, but it'll do for now because I'm not exactly going to go and get changed into something a bit more smarter. Probably should have done before I started this video, but who cares? So I've got this, I've got my, um, this bit, and I've got his hat. So I'm going to see how he fights wearing his hat, see if it obscures his vision or anything. So of course I'm going to take my glasses off for this, so I'm probably not going to be able to see anything. So this is a bit biased considering the fact that I can't see right now and my phone is just a massive blur. Anyway, I'm gonna, and I've got my punch bag here. I'm gonna see how well Scudder can fight with his hat because of course he's got the skull and and nothing to, and no hair to stop it, his hat from falling down like that or down like that. Or to that, or like that when he's fighting. And I won't be doing any kicks because it's an enclosed area and as my punch bag is in my bedroom and it's the only one in the house and my bed is literally right right here and um, there's my um, bedside table, my TV there and I obviously don't want to break that because otherwise my mum would be quite angry with me. So, so I'm going to see how he does it. So it's kind of obscuring my vision a bit. And of course the tie isn't exactly the best option as the punch bag, well obviously it's not going to fight back, but if there was a real opponent, it could quite, if this was a real tie, but it's not, it's just a clip on, if this was a real tie, he, uh, the opponent could grab onto it and strangle me, like jerk me forwards. Obviously I'm not a skeleton obviously I'm a living person he's a skeleton but I would still jerk him forward because it's coming on his neck and of course the tie is currently is always getting in the way so I'm gonna just take that off feels a bit weird And of course, one of Scott O'Groove's favourite moves is hitting them with the elbow. I don't know if that's how it's done, because I'm not exactly the best at fighting and stuff. This is the fact I'm still kind of young. And I haven't taken any lessons, except from by a friend who's not exactly the best at fighting, even though he thinks he's an expert. Obviously, Scott O'Groove's a lot stronger than me, considering the fact that he's over 400 years old. And I'm just um, like over 400 years younger than that. Like I was born when he was 433, so yes. <laughs> and the, as you can see, the hat is obscuring my vision. It's covering one, one of my eyes. And if I remember correctly, it's obscuring my good eye, which isn't very good. Of course, I don't think Skudugri has eyesight problems. So yeah, I mean, if you count not having any eyes as an eyesight problem, then yeah, he definitely has an eyesight problem, but let's not get into that. And also my knuckles are starting to hurt. Probably should have worn my punching gloves, but who cares. I do this sometimes. <laughs> So I've just got to be kind of cautious of the wire there because that's connected to my TV. Well, okay, yes. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that this would fight back. This would fight back. It would give me with a weather opponent at least. Of course, it's got to be wood under their ear, so I'm just going to take them out.
You also didn't wear a necklace. I'll take that off as well. And obviously he doesn't have any bar, any hair, unless he's wearing his facade, facade, whatever it's called. So yeah. And so let's just say I'm Scott Uggery and I'm wearing a facade. Uh, if that's, and that's just gonna, how I'm gonna pronounce it. And I'm fighting a punch bag for no re apparent reason, for no apparent reason whatsoever. Okay, let's just go with that. <laughs> Because otherwise, I'm. This is probably going to be a bit weird. Oh, yep, yep. Wow, <laughs> that definitely just fell into my eye. Definitely didn't. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, without my glasses, there's nothing there to stop it from falling into my eyes. And I'm talking about a hat. Okay, well, that was surprisingly powerful me. So part of this experiment is also seeing whether this part of his suit would sew him down as well. And so far it hasn't, but the but the enemy could easily grab hold of it and pull, but that's because it doesn't have any buttons, it isn't tied up or buttoned up. He could easily just slip out of it gracefully because Skodagri is always so graceful. Thanks to his ego. Massive ego, that guy. Well skeleton. <laughs> Hang on. Now I'm going to do the experiment, but with added gloves. How I'm going to clean my glasses. Added gloves. I've got really pleasant gloves now. Really, they're just gloves I found in my drawer, but who cares? I wear them when I'm dressing as well, so. Also, it's going to stop my, my knuckles from hurting so much. <laughs> now then, time to put on my hat and take off my glasses. So I can feel my hand slipping a couple of times, so... So yeah, so the gloves, admittedly, they didn't slip as much as I thought they would, so that's kind of good. And now, 
and take off my gloves for a second while I put my glasses back on. And now I'm going to do it with his disguise of um, before he got his facade. So like before trying to do those sigils onto him or whatever they're called. I still don't know how to pronounce them, but I'm guessing sigil because um, yeah. So you've got to pretend that these are sunglasses. And yes, I do randomly have a scarf in my bedroom. I don't know why, but yes, I just randomly have it in here. One scarf. And it's something Scott O'Gree would wear as a disguise because it's kind of weird. So. It would wrap around your head. It would wrap, it would go like, just gonna. Because he's in disguise, so basically that means like um, he's not exactly gonna like, go into a. Um, yep, that's that. <laughs> Guess I do look like Scott Dogger now. <laughs> Last time I tried this was last week and the scarf would not stay on my ears so yeah so let's try it with this disguise now okay so it's probably gonna be a bit harder to fight because I don't exactly have my full vision because of the hat and the scarf and the scarf is probably gonna spin in my face a bit and gonna come off which is what happens in the fight scene in the first book. So let's see. It's gonna get in the way a bit and the gloves. Okay, so um, so far it's staying. Because this is if because I think the disguise is if he's ever in a fight or something in a mortal area, it would be quite useful. So yeah. I've just been punching a bag for like 12, it's going to be 13 minutes. How fun. <laughs> My favourite activities. I'm going to need a breather after this. <laughs> and yep, the scarf is... One done now. So he'd have to constantly pause between punches to throw his scarf over his shoulder or whatever, uh, which would seriously cut back on time. And goodbye, that's the end of the video. Sorry, it takes so long. Bye. And sorry, it was so weird, but bye. I hope you understand how difficult it must be for Scott Ugly to fight, and obviously, he wouldn't be out of breath because he's got no lungs. So, so, wow. That's kind of difficult for me. I could have my hands free. Oh. That was kind of weird. Oh. And I guess I'm not going to not going to end the video there because we've got to do it. Because of course we've got to do it without with without the glasses or the hat. So yeah. Or the gloves, so yeah, I'm probably gonna buy myself accidentally, like some of my nail polish into the eye, by because it because it flew into the air when I stumbled backwards or something. So I've got a bag of fush in there. Yeah. Let's hope I don't get blind myself. <laughs> that would be rather unfortunate. Of course, I'm not wearing a suit, as you know, so
Anyway, so that's how Skadokuri would fight in wearing each of those clothes. You see, he'd be wearing a suit and uh, not the casual wear that I'm wearing. So, yeah, anyway, goodbye. See you in my next video. Like, please like, comment, and subscribe.